All right, uh, Liverpool nil, United three, and what a carnage. What a meltdown um, directly from Bali. We're not live, but we're basically reacting on the match. And from a neutral perspective, you've seen this guy before. This is Alex Young, Arsenal supporter. Alex, tell us, what did you see from a neutral perspective? Like, how did you see this game pan out? Like, you know, was it a fair result or was it just... A total meltdown in the first half from Casemiro. Just, just uh, disjointed from a lot of the Man United players. Just uh, passing was awful. I mean, I'm as an Arsenal fan, I've seen this year after year with Liverpool. They are deadly. Yeah. You make a couple of bad passes and you, you, you're you 2-0 down just like that. Yeah. And I think you guys just didn't have that cutting edge. Um, you had chances, you had you had the momentum at the beginning, the first 15 minutes were very, very good. But mm. just Casemiro, I mean, with that fucking experience. Yeah, I mean... He made a very, very bad pass and he got away with it in, yeah, in the first 30 minutes. And then... I mean, you saw the signs were there earlier with Cass, right? In the first 10 yeah. minutes, yeah. you saw he was shaky. He was not really gelling. I mean... Fair play to say the first 20 minutes, you know, we, our press play was really good. We had a mid block, De Ligt looked good with Martinez, but it was just a play out like, you know, Casemiro started to get a little bit wobbly. I mean, we've been saying he's, his legs are gone. He's, when his passing abilities is gone, so arguably to say he cost us the first half by giving away, I think it was six stupid balls. Yeah. And out of those two resulted in a goal, right? So yeah. there's nothing you could have done in that first half. What I'm fuming about is that we were a better team in the first half against Liverpool. They had like, you know, one goal opportunity was ruled out of side. And the two came from stupid, stupid, I mean, I must say, I'm fuming, stupid mistakes yeah. from Casemiro, right? You, you, you know, as soon as you conceded one goal, you, your heads were down. You, 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 you lost your way. And um, as I say, like Liverpool were deadly. I've seen yeah. this as an Ars Arsenal fan, like this was happening year after year. And um, just this, the difference, you know, as Paul Scholes was saying, like, it's the difference, your, your attack versus their attack, technically they're just different, different level. And you yeah. just, you I know. mean, they didn't get any signings in. I mean, basically, the way we see it, Honest Lock just took over a, a bunch of squad, the well drilled squad, you know, he just he made a little bit changes to the tactics, you yeah. know, to the system. But these guys, they know how to play each other. For me, if we talk about the substitutions, like urgency, like we were 2 nil down, second half, we were screaming on the top of our lungs. Both you and me were saying, Casemiro needs to be swapped. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I'm happened. just going to tell you this, though. Rashford, he, he's had it, mate. Oh, I mean, he started. How many go This guy is, is a joke. He, what he's scored, how many goals is he, is he scoring on average per season? Just, just oh, ask yourself that. Yeah. The yeah, yeah, I mean, he up. scored eight goals last season, the season yeah. before 13, but he's ever second, but he didn't really look into it, right? Bro. So the, 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 the substitutions for me, I mean, even you could tell, like, you know, Ganacho was misplaced. He should have been played in Rashford's position yeah. on the left. Yeah. In, in, what, what gets me is this, I pin it on Ten Hag as well, to be honest, mm -hmm. right? This was in front of the home crowd. And I also won't pin it on Ineos, and we'll tell you why in a, in a bit. But instead of doing the right substitutions, yes, he took off uh, Casemiro. He fixed the problem. But the other problem was on the left-hand corner. Rashford didn't do anything. There was frustrations. Instead of taking on your man, yeah. he goes backwards. Yeah. Kills the momentum, right? He doesn't really get involved Joshua Xerxes. Xerxes had a couple of chances. But what's the point of having number nine if you're not playing to the number nine? I don't know what to tell you, man. United is just, it, it's early days. You, 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 you know, you've got new players, um, new formation. True. But it's early on, but you're already six points yeah. behind City. It's almost like you, you're done already. You, you... All right. Let, let me get into the point what I want to get. Um, you know, it is ridiculous that you... Three points today would would have mean like six points and catching up on the table, right? Yeah. Three games in. I'm not going to say panic station. There's a lot of games to play. But what I want to ping on this Ineos regime, they've done smart business so far. Mark my words. 17 players out. That's, that's massive, right? And seven in. But the way 
there's a way to sort of negotiate, be smart in the market to sort of be strong arm against Bayern and PSG, negotiating for six weeks to get two defenders in. And the obvious what we missed today is Ugarte, the number six, right? Which means that their players are not ready. You should be ready when the Premier League starts with a full squad, right? And this has been year in, year out, what Manchester United do. Okay, you saved yourself money, but they cost us six points. Yeah, but you know what? Like, if you look at Arsenal, it's taken Arteta four to five years to get to where we are Fair right play. now. Yeah. yeah. With you guys, you, you were really unfortunate last season. You had some serious injuries, right? So this is the year where you can really analyze your manager. Like this yeah. is his last chance, to be honest, isn't it? Do you reckon he's his last chance to loon here? It should be really with what what you, if you don't get top four, I mean. Yeah, he's gone by Christmas. The pressures, then. pressures there yeah. on, on, on the manager. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is his third season. I think it? you can't look at this game because, I mean, you can look at this game and say, look, we're we're not good enough, and something clearly things are not right. But Liverpool are just a joke, man. Like. They they can do this to any team. You make one mistake, and you, one mistake, and you're two 0 down. Fair play, but at it's it's not, two mistakes, you're, you're two 0 down. But at Old Trafford, at Old Trafford, it should not be happening, right? So, for me, I mean, I, I'm I'm proud to see the first twenty minutes, first thirty minutes, like how we played out the, pa- you know, how we were pressing. The Licht look impressive, like you know, Mazarawi. Kobe Maynard took yellow card. After the yellow card, Kobe Maynard could not do anything. He was afraid. So we yeah. we conceded three yellow cards in that, you know in this game which means that we're playing cautious right? I don't cautious. think you control the midfield to be honest and, no, we and didn't. that we really lost it. let you down and Casemiro just he's going to obviously he is the one player that everyone's going to look at and go he cost us the game yeah, but he I think did. all of your players just he lost, just lost the energy yeah they lost the energy um, but I'm thinking in the flat. second half yeah, yeah. I, I'm thinking in the second half like I'm thinking 2-0 down we can do this um, Maserawi goes down with an injury, stops the play with four minutes, momentum is gone. And I'm thinking, what are you going to do here? What do you have from the bench? Yeah, Collier, young Collier, 20 years of age. There's nothing he can do. No. At least you have to take out the li- liability. But the way forward for me was to say, look, there's a second problem on the left wing, Rashford. What he should have done instead of taking Ganacha out, he should have put... Ganacha to the left and put Ama Diallo into the right. Now, Ama Diallo has been cooking. He's been our best player. He got the Player of the Month award. Yeah. Why? Was it chicken shit? You know, was no, it I sort of... I get what you're saying. I get what you said. So what you're saying, though, is that the manager has not yeah. played the right formation, the right players from the no, start. No, Should Rashford have played? No, question. he shouldn't. No. So what he did was shoehorn Ganacho to the right. Ganacho yeah. is best on the left. And on the right, Amadiel has been cooking. Did Rashford even have a shot? No. No, no, no. Useless. No. Useless. He had one uh, cross to Xerxes, and Xerxes put it on the header, went straight to Alisson instead of should have buried it. Yeah. But anyway, guys, it's, it's zero three. 3 uh, How are you feeling? Uh, is it panic station? Plenty games to play. Never do I like to do a reaction uh, straight after the game. But you can clearly see that we are not ready. We are not ready. This is not the first team yet. And clearly we couldn't get rid of the deadwood, all the deadwood out in this yeah. transfer window. Casemiro should have been gone. Christian Eriksen came in. He should also have been gone. Lindelof is still here. Are these players holding back United to move forward? As soon, I mean, thank God it's international break right now. Thank God. But I am fuming that we should have at least got away. We should have won this game it should have been ever given Sunday and if you look at the beginning of the game players were up for it there was yeah. energy we were the better team but we sort of again, team again like, we I lost the mentality the team for 15-20 minutes but then you made some sloppy passes the only thing you had going was good energy the energy was good but sloppy play and you're two you know two nil down a half time. and that's football people two um, sloppy mistakes there's nothing you could have done. Casemiro cost us the game. And you Arby still have too much Deadwood, though. You have yeah. players like Bloody Evans like on the bench, for goodness oh, yeah. sake. For goodness you know? sake. Anyway, I'm not going to be so much reactionary. I'm fuming uh, deep inside. Um, I pinned this on Ten Hag as well. I cannot lie to be saying that wrong substitutions, um, chicken shit, take off Rashford and play your best team. 
nothing has really changed. We have new players in. They still need to be embedded. It's early. It's, it's, early. it's, it's early, early, early. It's early. But early. I cannot wait to see Manuel Ogata starting the number six and Rasmus Hoyland clearly is missing as a firepower. We have an injured Lenny Euro as well to come in the back line. But clearly the midfield was not good today yeah. and uh, we you, should... You clearly had high expectations today and yeah. you have had a sense of reality. Yeah. That but guess what? There. You know, there's still one chance to get another midfielder and that is no other than, guess who? Rabio. He's a free agent. Will, yeah. w would you explore that opportunity? Would you like say he would fit right into this team with this energy? I just don't think you're. Mid yeah, but potentially. I mean, even McTominay would have had a better chance playing today. Yeah, like, but McTominay's gone now. He's eh? gone. Yeah. Um, so what did we do? Did we, I, I we saved money. I think you have yeah. to accept with what who you bought. You've had a decent window. Yeah, you true. Need time to just give it more time. Yeah. So you see where you are in the next three to six games. Yeah. So, um, you know, what you're saying is like as an Arsenal fan, yeah, it took Mikel Ateta four years to get where he is. And, I uh, am imagining being in your position three years ago. Yeah. And we used to get beat by Liverpool 4-0, 3-0, 4-0. So yeah. this is normal, okay? But it's it's not acceptable at Old Trafford. Like, you know, third game of the season, home game, 3-0. No, I don't if know. If he doesn't get top four, maybe, <sighs> maybe, maybe one more season and have us. That's it. That's what I'm going to say. Halas is gone. So that's Halas. that's what Alexis has to say. He's an Arsenal fan. Um, you know, coming with a neutral point of view, I always respect your opinions. You tell it like it is. You're my friend. You're my brother. Yeah. My mother. Coming from Bali, it is a carnage from my end. I am absolutely fuming. What can I say? I had my say on it. But um, at the end of the day, there's plenty of games to play. Uh, wrong substitutions, 100%. And Casemiro... We didn't get him rid of him at the window and he's a liability as we speak but as per se looking forward thank god it's international break we can get in manuel gacha into the team and off we go but still we are now what do you say how many points off liverpool six points yeah oh god yeah still man plenty of football to play like guys let me know in the comment section below non live comments this is not live this is us just reacting coming live from bali what's the time it's 1.30 in the morning and we are going to sleep. Peace, peace, love and go banana. And please do not forget to like and subscribe and leave your comment. What do you think? Was it Casemiro's fault or was it Ten Hag's substitutions? Let me know. Glory, glory, Man United. We go again. Ciao. Ciao, bye.